Hey folks, this video is a quick tutorial for HoneyBook users. If you're an online service provider and you're looking for a simple tool to help you manage clients, or if you're spending too much time trying to set up your workflows, this video is for you. Uh, in this video, I'll show you step by step how to set up your HoneyBook account so you can focus on getting new leads and booking clients on autopilot. So once you answer a few questions um, in the onboarding process, you should be right here. So the templates are, is where you're going to have all your templates stored. The library is where you upload all your graphics and images and files. Workflows is where you're going to automate your onboarding processes. The calendar is where you view all your projects. Uh, once you sync it to Google Calendar, you, you'll also be able to see your projects from there. The scheduling is where you create your schedulers so clients can book their sessions. Tasks is where you manage all your all your tasks for projects here. The time track is where you track your time for every project. The reports is a monthly overview for your bookings, payments, and projects. You also find expenses and profit and loss. And if you have a QuickBooks account, you could also connect it from there. The contact form is where you create your lead capture form. So you can add this to your website or you could provide a link to your email inside your emails. There's also a Chrome extension. Batch emails is when you batch send emails to your waiting list, for example. Opportunities is where you promote your services and look for other service providers to collaborate with. You also find the service, service providers here. And now you can get started with setting up your account. So you head over here to my account. And here's where you fill out your information change your password, add your photo. Under company settings, you add your brand info here, like your logos, your images. Um, it's also gonna be inside your uh, library. Add your signature here, company info, social media. Um, you can hover over these boxes to view the sizes, recommended sizes for domain and client portal. This is the link that you send to your clients, so you can communicate with them there, and they can also view all the files. You can customize your uh, client portal login screen. Under integrations, you can add your QuickBook accounts, sync up with uh, Zapier, integrate with Instagram and Facebook, get the Chrome extension, Zoom and Calendly. On the team, you can invite your team members uh, to this account. Under preferences, you'll find your lead sources, notifications, payment reminders. Under lead sources, this is the info you'll find on the lead capture form. So if someone finds you from Instagram, they'll be able to click Instagram, Google, Facebook, whatever. Under membership, you can continue to sign up for monthly uh, payments or annual and you can add your bank details right here and once you're done with your admin info you hover over tools and we're going to start with scheduling so you create your first session a video type session phone call in person add your session title here Consultation call, you can choose from Google Meet or Zoom. Um, add your time zone info here, colors, instructions, like uh, you can add the link to the Zoom or your Google Meet. Uh, you get a reminder before the session. And then next up, you add your uh, time. So you could apply this to all Fridays, for example, change the time to 12 to 7, save it. And then once you're done with that, get confirmation. And this is the email they'll, they'll receive once they uh, book their session. So you save and finish once you're done with that. After scheduling, you can head over to, to templates. Uh, your invoices, contracts, proposals, questionnaires, brochures will be all here. This is also where you set up your packages and lead capture forms. Um, you have some scripts here also. 
Um, the good thing about this is you have plenty of templates and scripts to use, so you don't have to start from scratch. So the first thing you would set up is your packages. Here's a sample package already made for you. Here's where you add your packages. So each um, item will go into here. You click to enter the title name. And hour, day, week, month. And you add the amount here, the price here. You can also tap here and add your templates here, or you could set up the service to add it and they could add it for you. Under contact forms, this is where you add your lead capture form. You could uh, embed this link, you can embed this form on your website, or you can send the link to your uh, ideal clients. There are forms already made for you here. They, are, uh, they have some example forms already created for you. Uh, so you could pick from one of these or you could start from scratch. And we'll just choose this one for now. So you can tap here and change your, the title of the uh, sections here change your photos from in the library and you'll you can choose the photos from here after you're done with this you hit publish and you'll get a link to share with your uh, clients next up is invoices And since you already have your packages set up, you can, you can add your packages from here. And the total will be right here. You can add your discount here. Payment schedule is if you have, um, if you require a 50% deposit. Or if you have recurring payments, you can set it up here also. Next up is contracts. They have sample sample contract for you here. You can edit this, remove this part here, edit this, or you can copy and paste your uh, contract here. And when a client is ready to sign their contract, all this information here will be auto generated. Uh, here's where you change your change the information here and add your own. Next up, proposals. Now the invoice and the contract you made will be under here, under one setting. So when you're ready to, when the client is ready to book, sign the contract and pay the invoice. So as you can see, it's already generated here. They'll also be able to pick a package from here. And then once you're done with that, we head over to questionnaires. Here's where you could send a survey, um, request for a testimonial. You could also uh, set this up to add, ask for feedback. And if you scroll down, you could add a, another section here, uh, more fields. So uh, text area, radio button, uh, check boxes and drop downs. You could also tap here and view more uh, questionnaires from here. And then your next one will be emails. So they have uh, templates for you here. So request for a testimonial. You could pick from any of these templates here. Follow up. 
your business and goals are already here. And once you're done with emails, your next step is to create brochures. This could be used as a pricing guide or a welcome packet for new clients. Uh, each tab takes them to each section. You can also create new sections, contents uh, for with text, two columns, packages, or add questions. Also, shameless plug, if you want to know what to add to your intro, welcome, or goodbye packets, I have a toolbox with scripts and client onboarding checklist so you know what to add to your brochures and emails. Uh, I'll add the link below. And after you're done with uh, brochures, you can head over to creating your workflows. And this is where you automate everything that you just created. You can build a workflow for any stage in your, in your pipeline, like an inquiry workflow, where uh, Honeybook can send an email to a new lead, to whoever fills out your uh, contact form. And, and as an example of workflow, if a client just booked a project and you want to send them a welcome packet and email, you will click brochure. You pick your welcome packet and your welcome email from here to send out automatically. You'll leave it zero minutes or five minutes. And to send this right after the contract is signed. You can manually approve this or you could uh, have, auto have HoneyBook send it for you automatically. Uh, to create another step, you can add a task to create a project in uh, Asana. This can be done automatically right after the previous step is complete. Uh, you can add as many steps as you want um, to this workflow, and once that's done, you can name it, uh, onboarding workflow, and save it. And then your next step will be projects. So after you're done setting up your workflows, you head over to projects. And here is where you'll find your all your new leads and your projects. You can customize your pipeline by adding or removing stages. Anything with the padlock is mandatory, but you could add stages here or delete from here. And once you have a project in here, you can tap the project to view your workspace. Here you'll find all your project and client info for activities. This is where you can reply to any email. You can see when they read the email. Under files, you'll find all your files here. So anything you created, uh, templates, brochures, etc., will be here. The details, project name, project type, date, anything about the project here. You can add your notes here and the clients won't see them. It's just you and your team members. Here's where you will grab the link to the client portal and you can send to your client. You can add your notes here, time tracker, tasks. You could also uh, sync this with another workflow. You can change the title of the project here. Also change the image, grab one from their library. And that's basically it for HoneyBook. From the dashboard, you'll be able to see all your projects from here. Uh, your calendar, any upcoming events, any payments, 
And once you have your account set up, you can head over to Tools, then Opportunities, and make sure to promote your services here. And once you promote your services, make sure to share it on Facebook or Twitter. And you should be all set with HoneyBook now. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your folks. And leave a comment below if you have any questions about HoneyBook. And thanks for watching.